Okay, so here we are in the Tier 4 American Light Cruiser, the Phoenix. I've literally General just finished Force. upgrading it, so it's fully uh, equipped, though I haven't yet unlocked the Tier 5, so it's not elite yet. This is a rather curious little cruiser. It does carry a couple torpedo tubes on each flank, but it otherwise has 10 single mount 6 inch guns. Fairly rapid firing, decent range, decent other stats. And I'm going to head northeast to. Um, Autopilot mode Try and use in which primary mode, which is to be a tor or not torpedo cruiser, a gun cruiser. It's a, it's a gun cruiser more than anything else. But the torpedoes do give you a useful close-in uh, combat ability if necessary. <laughs> but it's it's not a very big torpedo sprite. There's only two of them. Now this tier is where you start seeing battleships that can shoot most of the way across the map. There's two Congos on each team, and uh, yeah, they start the game just about in range of each other. And the moment they start moving, yep. As soon as anything gets spotted, the shooting begins. Oh, sorry, we have three Congos. So yeah, there's a lot of shells already crossing the map, and all I'm just trying to do is quietly sneak around over here and go for some place where I can actually make a mark. So yeah, check out the top speed on this thing. I'm just about reached it at 35, just about 35 and a half knots. Very, very fast. As you see, this is a just, just about a tier 5 game. So this ship is comfortably inside of its comfort zone. And oh, there's my favorite ship. It's a St. Louis, and he is just about to reach maximum gun range. I still debate over whether I should use single shot or not, but I usually trust my ability to get a salvo off pretty heavily. And the St. Louis is really wondering what the hell he just rolled into. As shell after shell screams down around him. That one missed him just by a little bit, which happens. These guns, although cruiser guns are any more accurate than battleship guns. Ooh, that was a good hit. Almost 3,000 damage. He's taking fire from multiple vessels here. And at the extreme range, it's a little hard to hit, but we are steadily closing the distance. Another excellent hit. Oof, look at someone else putting a lot of shells down. Yeah, he's, look at him, just, he's being cut down quickly. Despite the sheer firepower of the St. Louis, he's a little outgunned right here. He's turning to try and escape at 22 knots for the nearest island so that he can hide for a little bit and hope that our attention goes somewhere else so he can be more effective somewhere else. Oh, there's another really good one. 4,000 damage. Broadside. Try to put another one before he gets behind the headland. Then look for a different target. Oh, there's a battleship over there. Battleships are much tougher. He's going to come up from behind that island that the um, St. Louis is now hugging <laughs> behind because he's almost out of hit points. That's not necessarily the best shot right up there, but... Well, they might do something. Nope, fell just behind him. Well, that just tells me to lead him a little bit more. So here's the next salvo. There we go. Not a big hit, but the hit is still there. I can see other ships are engaging him now. Ooh, much better hit, though. Well, better hit doesn't necessarily mean better damage. I'm um, hitting him with armor piercing. I'm hitting mostly armored areas, I guess, because I'm not doing much damage to him. Back to the St. Louis. He's only got 1,000 hit points left. Good hit should do it. Oh, someone else got the kill shot, but I did get some more damage in. And now it's 7 kilometers away from this battleship. I'm starting to get a little nervous about him. Those are coming my way! Incoming mail! Ah, oh, one big hit. Does only minimal damage, but it also rips off my rudder. Forced to use my repair kit and save myself. Now I'm just zigzagging it while I close in. The ship actually has excellent forward firepower. I can bring, if I angle it right, half my guns to bear through my frontal arc. You can see there's lots and lots of... You know, now I'm going single shot. I'm just trying to range in at this distance. Getting a little hit in there, getting a little hit in. And what's that beeping noise? Why well, am I hearing torpedoes? There's nothing here that can launch torpedoes. Wait a minute. My friendly ships can fire torpedoes. Where are those torpedoes? Where are those? Where are those? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Turn, 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 turn. And thread the torpedoes. Mm, that was close. That was close. Okay, back to the battleship. Hopefully, it's glad I didn't block those torpedoes. Some of them were aimed almost directly at them. And yeah, you can see them going in. And, oh yeah, that reminds me. I have torpedoes too! Looks like he's at least one of these. Let's give him, see if we can give him at least one more. 
Boom! Takes a big hit from the torps. I put my torps in the water. I catch fire from his secondaries. Put some more shells in, and boom! Hit me a Congo with a single good torpedo hit. Alright, I'm on fire. Nothing I can do about it right now, unfortunately, because my repair kit's still down. If I merely turn and target my next intended victim, it's a enemy cruiser. I think it's the tier 4 Japanese one. I forget what it's called. First broadside is way off the mark. Re-aim. Try again. Much better. Of course, we're also closing the distance. Part of me is kind of like, are we getting kind of close? Could the torpedoes potentially reach me at this range? But finally, Parakeet comes back up and I immediately put the fire out. Now he's turning coming straight for me. And I'm thinking, hmm, do I turn into him? Because I can't bring all my guns to bear on him, or at least five guns to bear on him. I'm directly ahead. It looks like he's thinking about trying to do a torpedo run. Oh, good hit on the Citadel. That's a lot of damage. I turn my bow in to try and make it a little harder to torpedo me. Another good salvo goes in. I'm just there like, I know you must have launched torpedoes. Where are they? He goes down. Awesome. Oh crap, there's the torpedoes. Oh crap, there's one directly ahead. Gotta try and turn between it. Nope, smashed in my bow. Well, it didn't kill me immediately, but my repair kit's 45 seconds away from going. I took a lot of damage, and I'm flooding. And my hit points are slowly being drained away. Hmm. I don't think their repair kit's going to come up in time, so I start putting fire into the carrier, try and do what I can before I'm out of this game. I can't complain too much. I torpedoed a Congo to death, for pity's sake. And we'll get one more. And the broadside goes out, and I sink. But hey, three more hits on the carrier. Oh, two more hits, plus I hit the Citadel and a critical damage. That's always very nice. And my ship begins heading for the bottom. Someone else is there like, holy moly, he's got 106 hits. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. Actually, I say I got 61. I had, I, I typed that one, literally 61, but actually I got 63 hits. Plus a torp pit. Sank the Congo. They shot down a plane somewhere. Didn't even see when that happened. So yeah, the Phoenix, it's fast. Uh, it's got good all-around armament for a cruiser. Torpedoes aren't, the torpedoes are handy, though not its uh, primary weapon. Now I have to sit here and boast about that crazy game that I really, really wish I were the recorder on with. 212 hits scored with a St. Louis. Now I'm just going to sit here and watch as the team sinks everything and I talk about this game. Anyways, the team's got this one solved, and they just kind of run down the carrier. There's <laughs> a battleship looking at it. Battleship versus carrier and gun combat. Not a good thing for the carrier. But you can see other battleships even further away are still shelling them because they can shoot so far. I admit my guilty pleasure. I want an Atlantic class. I know, it's a tier 7 that only has 5 inch guns at the maximum, but it gets 16 of them! And you can use them in anti-aircraft mode as well. It's really silly. And there goes the carrier, sunk, I think, by a torpedo hit. But in any case, down she went. 
pretty good score for me. Uh, you know, 2,000 experience after bonuses. Got 1,500 base, which is an all-time high for me at this particular point. And a kill. And I shot down a plane, which is always kind of nice. Yeah, the Omaha got three kills, shot down five planes. Crazy! Did take 106 hits, which is pretty darn uh, ridiculous in this game. But it's a cruiser thing. You get lots. Of, it's easy to get lots and lots of hits. Well, it's easier. It's easier than a battleship. All those AP shell hits. Just devastating. Hitting a St. Louis. Sank a Congo. Hitting up that Kumana. Who eventually sank me. And you've got some bits on that Langley before. Finally kicked it. One torpedo hit, I'd like to point out, equaled all 17 HE shell hits. Just so nasty. Great way to finish off a badly damaged enemy ship. Once again, I'd like to point out, 9 AP shields taken for just about 5,000. And, yep, one torpedo I took actually did more damage than all of the other shells that hit me combined. Now, how I got HE shell damage taking no hits, I have no idea, but I'm sure there's a reason. Great experience. Ridiculous credits. I imagine that'll be fixed when the game goes into open release, but for right now, it's um, very handy in this game. Hope you enjoyed it. Good game, and good night.